You're listening to Fish Grow Plants, a podcast all about practicing and sharing the love of aquaponics, hosted by Logan Schoolcraft. Hello, and welcome to Fish Grow Plants. In today's episode, we're talking about the love of aquaponic changes. Yeah, so what do I mean by changes? Well, a lot of stuff, actually. It could be a change in fish food, either because they stopped selling your usual choice, or because your fish got bigger and a different size and nutrition was appropriate. It could be that you had a water accident all over your carpet, so you had to move the entire system to the basement. Or it could be that you have to move states due to many factors, so you'll be doing a really big change. Changes come and go of all kinds. They can be critical or petty, aesthetic, functional, or both. The type and scope of each change is unique on its own. And that's kind of what I want to get at today. That uniqueness has a lesson, a stepping stone, or at minimum, a memory of what happened. I've had a lot of changes over the years, and some loaded with a lot of work and bad feelings toward them, at least initially. What I've come to realize, though, is that I love those changes, and the more I can love them in the present while I'm doing them, the more the changes make sense, and the more I appreciate the whole concept of merging fish and plants together in this thing called aquaponics. So, for example, take my latest change to my system. Deep water culture microgreens. Seems pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of baggage on my end I have to deal with. I mean, I'm cutting up parts and pieces I spent a lot of time making for a specific purpose in the aquaponic system. So, to simply cut it up and toss it out carries a lot of emotion, time, and money associations that I tend to wrestle with for a bit. I would call those negative or downsides to changes. But the good things about those emotions is that I have the memories of what they provided me and what I learned by using them. I seem to force myself to remember that just because they no longer perform the initial function I created them for doesn't mean I wasted it. Rather, I have another useful reference point to take with me as I continue to hone in on what it takes to optimize and maximize my aquaponic system in my current situation. That's the love I'm talking about. Even as I may be complaining to myself for an entire Saturday, I know my intentions are to improve what I have and get better. Yes, it may take a while, but I love knowing I'm working to get better all the time. So those changes to the fish tank, those floating raft changes, and those plant choices, plant choice changes are all moving me in that direction of improvement, of getting better of finding the sweet spot for what I need to do and how to make my system perform at its best. That's what I love. To condense this down into a phrase, I'd say, love what you do. Very cliche, I know, but if you try to take the long view into consideration when you make changes or have a mess to clean up, then you'll know most of what you do is helping you get there one step at a time. It may seem rather noisy in the moment, but that's okay. That's life. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and before you know it, you'll be so far along you don't recognize where you are, let alone that petty change that annoyed you a few months ago. But how do you know if you're on track, right? Good point. To keep going change by change, you have to at least have a sense of where you're going or what you want. How do I do it? I always refer back to my purpose, my why, my reasons for growing and practicing aquaponics. I let those reasons guide my decisions. That's why I've made a lot of changes in the past. My purpose, currently, is to find out what grows best and how I can maximize it in my situation. Had my purpose been to grow the best aquaponic walnuts, I'd have a very different approach and would make changes and modifications in a very different manner. So, if you're ever at the crossroads about a change to make, I'd suggest you simply take a moment and ask yourself if this change aligns with your purpose and what you want for your aquaponic system. If it does, then go for it. If it doesn't, maybe take a minute to figure out why and what would be a better alternative. Even as I say this, I know it seems like a pretty gray area, but that's part of it. What you want from your aquaponic experience is not what I want, and that's okay. Maybe we can help each other solve problems and make changes as we go along, and we can still reach our own unique goals. That's the beauty. That's the wonder. 
That's the love I see in all the changes I make to my aquaponic system. And I hope you can see that love too when you start making changes. Take care and happy aquaponic. Questions? Let me have them. Do you need clarification, more information, or maybe you just have a tangent thought? Send all your thoughts my way. See the website fishgrowplants.com for episode details, or just firing off an email to fishgrowplants at loganschoolcraft.com, and I'll get back to you. So, was this episode good, bad, ugly, or other? Let me know. Comment, email, smoke signals, it doesn't matter. I love to hear from you. Your feedback is immense, and I'm always grateful for it. Likewise, thank you for taking the time to listen and share your thoughts. Have a wonderful day. This has been another episode of Fish Grow Plants, the podcast all about practicing and sharing the love of aquaponics, hosted by Logan Schoolcraft. 